Cinestill 800T is a very well-known color negative film that has intrigued me for such a long time. I think there's more to this film than gas stations and red halations that is so popularly like known for. I'm mostly a fan of this film stock because it's really just Kodak Vision 3 500T uh, motion picture film stock that's been re-spooled and repurposed for photography. And Kodak Vision 3 500T is one of my favorite motion picture film stocks. It's tungsten balanced film, which for photography really isn't that common. Most photography films are daylight balanced. If you shoot 800T during the day without a filter, you're gonna get very blue images. Not only during the day, but just any like photo that you have that's using a light source that's around 55, 5600 Kelvin, the image is gonna come out really blue. That's because the film is tungsten balanced. I personally have been really wanting to use 800T during the day, so that's why I picked up this. This is a Tiffin 85B warming filter, and essentially with this on my camera, this turns 800T into a daylight balanced film. So I can shoot it during the day and there shouldn't be any blue color cast to the images. You may notice something a bit different with my 500C. I finally decided to pick up a waist level finder. Even though in my last video I said I don't think waist level finders are for me, I uh, contradict myself all the time, apparently. We also did get a flash and I'll get to that later in this video, but uh, but for now we're gonna take a look at some behind the scenes photo shoots that I did with Narrowly and Cherry. And we're gonna look at uh, what this film was able to render with the filter and I'll give my thoughts towards the end of the video. I feel like I'm blocking this frame, but... <laughs> I'm literally just blocking it. I'm literally just blocking it. It's a good way to kind of like reset. <laughs> I gotta think about it. When I'm that close, the focus is like, there's like this much like that's in focus. Really so if I move slightly, it's like, I either got your eye in focus or, or like not. just slightly got it out because okay. everything's manual. You got it. I don't know. <laughs>
I need more hands. So we need this diffusion link. Something like that. It's almost gonna be kind of front lit, which I was not planning on, but it's cool. Lighting looks great. So just get a little bit of that sheen. Yeah, you can kind of see it, like turn a little bit. Yep. All right. That's it, right there. Okay. Three, two, one. Let's go, <laughs> let's bring it in uh, closer. actually works really well. Yeah, that works. That's great. That's great. Hold that. Hold that. And three, two, one. <laughs> Shoot. Oh, it's about to look very um, 50s, like. I'm about to look like I'm taking photos as if I'm in the 50s. Yeah, but we're gonna mount a, we're gonna mount the flash on it this time. So it's about. Is to... Is that the one that burns? No, 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 no. That's good though that you know that though. I literally went like, like like the Harry Potter burn. That I could use that, That's but uh, not only that, it's also like it's just massive. It's just unnecessarily big. We're, so we're half looking like the 50s. Everything looks like the 50s like minus that. this, exactly. We're gonna, we're gonna ignore it, it still works. Yeah, exactly. Cool. So I yeah. still was really into like the vintage look. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's definitely, it's, uh, it's not as popular anymore. But personally, I mean, I don't know if you see the photos that I post, they're all film. And I love it. And then you have to wind all the way to the first frame and it shows it on the back of the paper. So when it goes to one, then I have to reset the counter. Like the road closed, like that is. That's a vibe. I think that's all, oh, there's another road here. Okay. Yeah, I want to test to see if this flash is going to give me any issues. I'm just testing out the flash to make sure oh God. that works. No, 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 I'm saying you're like six feet, bro. I know, <laughs> I know. I need more height. I, what can I tell you? I mean, We're I'm never not... satisfied. Yeah, three, two, one. I'm such a doofus. I was like, I'm waiting for the <laughs> I took up. It's okay. I know what I'm doing. I promise. He's professional. Yeah. <laughs> Do it one more time.
right now. Let me show you what it looks like. The. <laughs> Look how She's like, I don't know. I wasn't I'll aware like, I was doing a look. I'll you know what? I know what's going to happen. This is a great, this is a, this is a good opportunity to do that. Cool. Careful. Bye. Um. Hold it right there, and three, two, go through the action. I think that's a wrap. It's a wrap! Yay! Yeah. Something else to note about this filter when using with 800T is that essentially it's going to drop my exposure by about a third of a stop. So you should ideally rate 800T with this filter at 640 ASA if I'm not mistaken. I rated the film at 500 ASA because I like to slightly overexpose my images just to make sure that everything's good because I don't use a proper light meter. I use my phone to meter and sometimes that's hit or miss. So kind of like to just adjust for that by overexposing. Um, it's worked out pretty well for me so far. You may be asking yourself if I wanted to use a motion picture film stock that's been repurposed for photography that's daylight balanced, why don't I just use still 50D. I really wanted to use 800T because generally I like the grain structure that you get from higher ISO films. It's more present. I feel like it adds a little bit more texture to the images. So I wanted to use a higher ISO film and still 50D or 50 ISO film in general really isn't that flexible. So I didn't want to have restrictions on shooting just because I'm shooting with 50 ISO film. So also, I'm just a really big fan of 800T, and I don't really feel like I see a lot of people use a warming filter on 800T, so I just kind of wanted to see what the results would look like for myself by doing some photo shoots and testing out the rules. Something to note about the photos from this session and also just from the other sessions as well is that there was a certain amount of green that was really present through the shadows, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I did not not like it. It was just something to note. And I did actually kind of like it because for whatever reason, green in the shadows to me kind of has a more cinematic quality to it. I mean, I kind of don't like tossing that word cinematic around, but green in the shadows for whatever reason gives me this more like cinematic vibe. I'll take that for what you will. It's completely subjective. Regardless, I really like the look of Sinistil 800T for these set of photos. Something else to know going forward is just like color was so vibrant and rich. And I feel like looking back at the images, they look even better than how I remember them. And maybe that's just the way that it renders life, but it is just is good. I like it a lot. Also throughout the set of photos, just in general, colors that seemed to really pop were reds and greens. Like anything that was red in the scene, it was extremely vibrant. And anything that was really gr like green in the scene or like mildly green in the scene was also very vibrant or like the color was like very saturated. I'm not sure the scientific reasons why that is, but it's definitely something that I've noticed not only this time shooting 800T, but 
I've done shoots in the past using it. And whenever there's those two colors present in the scene, they just like, they pop. I'm by no means saying that all of the photos that we created are amazing or anything like that. I feel like in all the photos that we shot, I have maybe like three or four that are my absolute favorite. I think that's okay. You know, I don't really think that every photo is going to be a banger and that's totally okay. But I did want to show you guys all of the photos just to show you like what this film stock is capable of with this filter. If you guys have any questions for me, uh, please drop them in the comments below. For now, I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye. Mm -hmm.